In this video, uh, we've got the shape of a vase can be modelled by rotating the curve with equation 10x squared take away 2 lots of y take away 3 squared equals 40 between y equals 0 and y equals 6, completely about the y-axis. The vase has a base. Find the volume of water needed to fill the vase, giving your answer as an exact value. So we know that the volume will be the integral of pi then x squared dy, and it's going between y equals 0 and y equals 6. So this is the form we need to get. So all I need to do is rearrange this equation to get x squared equals and substitute it in. So from this equation then, we would have 10x squared is equal to 40 plus 2 lots of y take away 3 squared. Now, I could divide through by 10 first, but I think what I'll do is I'll expand this bracket out. So we get 40 plus 2y squared. We're going to get take away 12y and plus 18. So 10x squared is equal to 2y squared, take away 12y. 40 plus 18 is 58. And now I'm going to divide through by 10. So we get x squared is equal to 2 over 10, so 1 fifth y squared. Take away 12 over 10, so 6 fifths y plus 58 over 10, uh, which is going to be 29 fifths. OK. So um, with that, I can now substitute that in to my integral. So I'm going to bring the pi outside, integrated between 0 and 6. The Well, I could actually bring the fifth out as well. So let's do that. Let's make our lives a little bit easier for ourselves. I'm going to bring out the fifth, and I'm going to have y squared take away 6y plus 29 dy. So now I can integrate. So we've got the pi over 5. Then we've got 1 third y cubed take away uh, 3y squared plus 29y, evaluated between 0 and 6. OK, so first of all, I'm going to substitute in the 6. So we've got 1 third times 6 cubed, take away 3 lots of 6 squared plus 29 lots of 6, and that gives us 138. Then substitute in the 0, it's just going to give me 0. So we get 138 pi over 5. And that is the exact volume of water that would fill the vase.